People are afraid. Yeah. I, I'm in the real estate business. We rent apartments. And, uh, you know, when crime gets to be too much, we're, we're virtually in all good areas. But when crime gets too much, they're going to they're gonna move. Mm. And, and, and our residents, I mean, they have feet. Yeah. You know, when we had one building, a high-end building, there's you know, a couple carjackings there. Yeah. People don't want to put up with that. Yeah. And why should they? You know? Can you believe it? That's right, I'm still here on top of this rooftop living in this tent for 100 days from November the 20th to February 28th, bringing you the awareness that you need to know about the violence on the south side of Chicago, but also to raise as much money as possible to build a community center on this much needed block called O Block. It's called O Block because it's named after a young man named O.D. Perry who was shot and killed. The gangs took the O in his name and start calling it O Block. We decided we're going to keep the O but we want to change it to Opportunity Block. I want to thank Fox for giving me the opportunity to bring to you every single day rooftop revelations where I share with you my thoughts, viewpoints, and opinions on matters as it relates to Chicago and issues across our great country. Also, I would like to thank them for giving me this privilege to have a very special guest today who's staying with us overnight on this cold, brutal night, Bill O'Kane of Group Fox. We're gonna have a great discussion tonight. And I thank you, Bill, for being here tonight. You're welcome. <laughs> so let me just jump right in. It's a cold night in Chicago. And I know you you may be used to it because you're you're a lifelong resident of Chicago, but I know you're not used to staying on top of rooftops in tents. I'm used to tents. You're used to tents? I'm, I'm on top of rooftops? No. <laughs> That, was, that, that makes it different. So this question is, is, is appropriate. What brings you to this rooftop tonight on the south side of Chicago? I came here to meet you, kind of give you, give you an interview. Yes. Because I want to help. So if I'm going to help, I want to make sure that my efforts are effective. Absolutely. So I want to, I want to check you out, which so far you're doing pretty good. <laughs> uh, so, you know, and I want to help. The, the youth is the most important thing to me. I mean, so many kids don't have a chance. Yeah. Right? You know, the daddy's not in the picture and the schools don't work. They just don't work. Public schools don't work. So the wife and I have helped out, you know, private schools and the Christian schools. I think vouchers are the most important thing for America. Without a doubt. Without, without, by far. I think it's absolutely number one. So I heard you on Fox. It's the only place I see you is on Fox, which I wonder why. I don't see you on ABC yeah. or yeah. CNN. Great question. Yeah, I wonder why. Let's just think about that. But, um, but you're pro vouchers. I am. I I really like to see it become the law of the land. It is in some places. Yeah, and it needs to be in Chicago. It needs to be in the state of Illinois. Yeah. That's one of the one of the ways that we can bring some of these children out of their poverty and hopefully keep some of them out of gangs by right. giving them a great education. Without a doubt, is essential. Yeah. Yeah. So, so as we talk about that, I know we've had a little discussion and we've talked about school choice and vouchers. Just how important is it um, being a Chicago resident from your point of view, explain to people what needs to change from your, if we're gonna get, change these kids out of gangs and change this neighborhood like this, what, what do you think it's gonna take? Well, one is there needs to be a change in the culture. Um, Again, with the kids, they need to be rewarded for good results, which I don't believe is happening now. Crime is just getting out of hand. And, you know, we, we need more business in the city, kind of like it used to be. In the past, it was better. Uh, you know, business, I think they, they don't want to be here because of crime and taxes. Taxes are out of hand and they're getting worse. So why is someone going to come here? You know, individuals, why would they come here and pay an Illinois state income tax? And Florida is zero, Texas is zero, a lot of states are zero. You have to motivate people, right? You have to motivate right. kids and reward them. Absolutely. Everybody needs a reward for their efforts. Absolutely. You know, and you punish bad behavior. Yeah, without a doubt. Uh, that, that's the reason why I've said in previous uh, settings on rooftop revelations how, you know, people will come up to me and say, you, you just want to throw more black people in jail. And I'm like, listen, it's not about being black or white. It's about being a criminal. If you're a yeah. criminal, yeah. you need to go to jail regardless of what color you are. Yeah. Especially if it's about violent crimes. Uh, like we're experiencing here in Chicago, from a from a you know you're a successful businessman, and at least I consider you a successful businessman. And one of the things that you said is about you know how we have to have businesses. Why is that 
so important, especially for this area that we're in, in West Woodlawn. Uh, it's an impoverished area, crime ridden. Why is it important that we get businesses established well, here? They need jobs. I think for someone to have dignity, they have to they have to do something productive, whether it be a job or a coach. You, know, you could be a volunteer, especially if you're retired. But you have to be productive to have dignity. Absolutely. Without that, what's life without dignity? Yeah, work brings dignity. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You know, you have you can take pride in your work. That's not bad pride to do a yeah. good job. You can say, I, I'm proud of what I did. Yeah. Not you know, not the bad. What is it? Seven sins. Yeah. Not that right. Yeah. But you know, we talked about uh, education in, in jail. I mean, I've said for decades, I believe in education, not incarceration. Right. Absolutely. You know, I want, I want these, I want these criminal guys to go get a job and be a taxpayer. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> and if we, that's what Project Good is all about. That's why we're trying to transform a lot of these guys who are in gangs, uh, help them to change their hearts, change their minds, change their lives, yep. get them redirected. And it's all about. Um, transformation and giving them opportunities and options you know one more thing before we go as you look at the scope of Chicago um, as a business person how does all this violence hurt your business people are afraid I, I'm in the real estate business we rent apartments and, uh, you know when crime gets to be too we're, we're virtually in all good areas but when crime gets too much they're gonna they're gonna move mm. and, and and our residents, I mean, they have feet. Yeah. You know, we have one building, a high-end building, there's you know, a couple carjackings there. Yeah. People don't want to put up with that. Yeah. And why should they? Yeah, that was going to be my question because I know you, you, you have you have your buildings in some nice areas, but I also know that some of those areas are now experiencing the, the, the violence that is spilled over into right. these nicer areas. That's what happens. Yeah. There's always spillover. And life in general is spillover. Yeah, and you know, I can go into we can go into the politics. That's that's part of the problem. You know, we need to be pro police. Yeah, there's always going to be a few bad ones. Every job, there's, everything you do, there's always a one bad or two pastors. Yeah, bad landlords. Yeah, there's, there's a, always a few. But at least with the landlords, we're motivated to make money. Usually, you have to deliver a good product. Well, no, you, you know, most of the time yeah, we, we hope yeah. we compete with each other. Yeah, you know? yeah. You know, I'll give you more because you, know, you want the business. Yeah, that's kind of a self policing effort. You know? Yeah, but I think you're right. We have to be supportive of our police. Yeah. We have to keep our politicians accountable. Yeah. We have to eliminate crime and we have to do so much better with education. Well, That's thanks the for key. being That's the key. Well, thanks for being with me tonight and uh, we're going to hang out and have some great discussions. I'm sure you got you have some more quiz questions for me. <laughs> <laughs> so listen everybody, thank you for being with us again on another Rooftop Revelations. I want to say thank you to Fox as always for giving me this platform. It has been a tremendous blessing. I wanna thank uh, Eli Steele for producing this show and, and writing all about it. Shouts out to Terrell for, for filming and keeping everything straight. And like I always say to you, every single show that I can remember to say it, God bless you and God bless America. And until tomorrow, another Rooftop Revelations. Peace. <laughs>